A reading of the uh, New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people there in South Carolina. My people from my mother's side. And this is a reading, of course, the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Um, we just go to any page. Let's do Matthew. Why not? Matthew, uh, I need my glasses. Would be good. See, because here what they do is they have uh, they have the old English, you know, Shakespeare, Marlowe kind of language to, with the New Testament written, well, passed down in. And then you have, here's, you have the color in the larger, little larger type. And so we'll read from uh, Matthew 1, Matthew, tw Matthew 27, page uh, 113. And just go down to us. Uh, Let's do uh, 62. The next day upon the worship day, the leader them of the priests, them and the Pharisees, them gone to Pilate. Okay, and that translation is, uh, now the next day, the, that following the day of the preparation the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate. Oh, they plotting. I know I should, oh, I read these, uh, I should explain, this is, this is Saturday, this is a Saturday, Saturday, I explain the set and explain what I'm doing. Um, and you know, what? maybe if, I, the reason I'm reading is just to get a hold of the, of the, of the Gullah culture, um, you know, my culture kind of thing. And, um, so that's it's merely an exercise that I just basically do every day, except for Sunday. Sundays is when uh, we go to the scripture book from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, that's our scripture book. This is what well, is the Holy Bible. It was the Gullah Bible, um, and so um, and so I, I wanted just to get a grasp of you know how these newly freed people, my peoples, how they became literate so quickly. You know, and of course the only book they had was the Holy Bible. And so they used that, and so they used it so much, I guess they came up with an interpretation themselves or a translation themselves for their language because uh, Gala is a, is a language. They call it a Creole language, but it's still a language, and it's, it's spoken in the Sea Islands, well, down South Carolina, the, the top of Florida, Georgia. And then it changes, you know, well, it changes, but the language sort of changes when it goes to like New Orleans, all the islands, and on down to the Griffin, the languages, you know, they're just all the their languages. Um, and so, so every, every Saturday I, 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 I read it and I explain the set to you. So let me, maybe we usually read twice. So let me, let me do this a second time. The voice you hear, that's my, uh, grand nephew. I'm going to take him out in a little while. Okay, here we go. Um, that would be, uh, Matthew 27, 62. Now the next day, Oh, sorry, I'm reading the interpretation. You should read the thing first. Here we go. The next day upon the worship day, the leader, them of the priests, them and the Pharisees, done gone to Pilate. And the interpretation, uh, well, that's their way of saying it. Here's the way the King James people said it. Now the next day, that following the day of the preparations, the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate. So that's, that's what it reads, reads like, okay? Uh, so real real quick, I'll show you some, I'll, maybe I won't show you, I'll, I'll tell you how to say it. Um, uh, so what I usually, or what I wear, what I wear, I read, of course I read from the color Bible, I gotta get another, before I leave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one, I might leave one here and bring one with me to South Africa, we'll see what happens. Um, oh, by the way, I live in South Africa, so when I do go, then sometimes I'll riff a lot of them off at one time while I'm traveling, so I won't miss a day, you know, because YouTube lets you do what it does. Uh, and I wear the hat. This is a so a goon cap. Uh, it's a it's a it's a when I oh, well, I'll explain a goon right now. Uh, it's green, and then the reversible side is black, and then this red star comes through both, so it's like a bit of red. So a goon's colors in uh, North America, a goon's in uh, my book of love. Oh, Goon's color in North America, as it came up through Santeria, uh, is uh, red, black, and green. Uh, but, but it, if it's in Brazil, it all comes original from the from the Yoruba uh, culture, from from Nigeria and that area. 
but when it went to Brazil, it became condom blue, and its colors there are, are blue and white, and then and the original is blue. So for some reason, red, black, and green, which happens to also be, or well, red, black, and green also happens to be, the colors of the Marcus Garvey movement uh, for, um, uh, I guess it's Pan Africanists. They're, they're Pan African uh, colors, right? Um, so I wear, but I wear it like this because it looks more ecumenical, you know, like that. And uh, and this kente cloth comes from uh, someplace I forgot where. I think it's Ghana. I'm not really sure, but uh, there's all kinds of kente cloth uh, things. It's just the, the the patterns that they use. So I I use this as a ecumenical cloth, right? And over here, then you have my pictures that back up there. That's that's that, that one up there. That's uh, this I'm doing this. Well, I'll tell you about that in a second. But uh, that's Hanan, little girl. The way she's talking, we're like conspirators. So I like that picture. This here, this brother here is is a Rasta brother, and uh, I just really love the way that selfie came out. Also, I have the I have this hat on the same hat. Do I have the hat on the selfie too? Yeah, I think I have the hat on the selfie. Yeah, that's right. Because I have the hat, I started a hat series. I also have the hat on here, the same hat on here with my wife. Uh, she's the one that made the hat. It's a reversible hat. Oh, and these are just. We, I call them three cats in Cape Town. It's like a, this is Sikalela, oh, this is me, and uh, this is uh, Ian. Ian is, is the father of this little girl here. Um, uh, he, you see the headdress, that's the uh, Swazi, the Swazi peoples, you know, from the Is, Iswatini, because, uh, you know, well, they used to be Swazi, and they, they, the king said, hey, yo, man. Got, got a real name back this uh, this uh placating to the Europeans they ain't ain't ain't, ain't hitting it. we ain't feeling that now so ain't so 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 he gifted me that that headdress so also this oh you don't see it also this here which is the the vest for it's a Zulu thing he's unapologetic uh, unapologetically to Zulu oh and, and then, oh, also here hey, man, let's see this is a uh a stanchion black home state a banner a little tiny flaggy thing that my wife a stitch for me for No More Radio, because every No More Radio has my back. You see, that's what that's about, right? Um, now where's my? Oh, that's right, Blue Tim. Uh, right here. Uh, this is my. This is a symbol I use. It's from the Akan people of West Africa. Uh, uh, Naisapo, I guess that's how you pronounce it. it, it it's, it's 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 wisdom knot. That's it translates to wisdom knot. I put on the red, black, and green because I use this on the back of this T-shirt. This T-shirt is actually. Mr. John Henry Clark uh, t-shirt and uh, I very rarely wear these, these I don't know what I'm I might take this back with me yeah like that so I put it on the back of that so I use it for my set when I'm re when I'm recording otherwise just hanging in the closet here yeah. uh, here's of course map of Africa though before the before the colonizers came and carved it up um, and this here is an article on Henry Dumas uh, which is a literary hero of mine uh, this is just a, a, a sketch that was in a, um, how we call it, it's in a, um, in a calendar, it's a calendar. And uh, I just, it just symbolizes scholarship to me. But strangely enough, it looks like Lewis Latimer, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's uh, this, this the, uh, red, black, and green flag that uh, that was a, a that's an art piece. It was an art piece that was uh, done, I guess, in the 80s, I forget when it was. Anyway, I gotta look it up again. But um, this guy, David Banner, I think it's no, what's his name, Banner, something like that. I gotta look that up too again. Remember this stuff. But uh, it's just an art piece. But it's become popular some places. Like I saw Le LeBron James wearing a, uh, a t-shirt with that on there. I have an idea. Like from from January to to May, uh, we should all we should you know sport that that t-shirt. Like every week, once a week on like a Monday or something like or Thursday, I don't know. Um, and call that a, a consciousness day. You, oh, well, let me not get, get ahead of myself. Because it's the American flag over there. That there, that picture on the wall. That's uh, that's the cover page for my the cover photo for my resume. All crooked there. Um, and it just says uh, Anthony Sloan, uh, cultural revolutionary. Because in culture, I'm a revolutionary. In real life, I'm a no, I'm, I'm evolutionary. I keep on evolving, uh, and that's it. That's it for the room. I got, I got a book. See, see these books. This is my book table over here. See, I got a Risha book that I'm reading now, but I'm waiting for this other Ogun book to come. Uh, so when that comes, I'll be, I'll be reading that. Oh, I, I mentioned Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Let's go up here. 
New York Black Hollywood for Princeton. Oh, where's the oranges? Uh, written, whatever. This is, this is not my, the, I got books all over this house. This is my sister's house. You know, I got books up in the attic. I got books in the bookshelf. I got books in this room here. But this is the book that we read from every, um, thank you. Every, what's the name? Every uh, Sunday, United Independent Compensatory Concept, Code System Concept, as you know. Anyway, because this is our scripture, this is our, this, I just wanted to let you know, preview for, for tomorrow when I, every Sunday we post. Okay, so that's it. Oh, let me show you one more thing since this is going to go up pretty soon. I do my walk every morning, and in this particular walk, this last morning, I ran into this sister here. She's going for city council. Now, when they when they say vote, they always they always tell you about um, voting. How do you say voting? Let me put it up here so you can see the sister. Uh, you know, voting for the big people and like that. But you know, local voting, if especially now, if you're in Chesapeake, and let me just say, support the sister. I know nothing about her. <laughs> I just I, I was walking. They were canvassing. They gave me this, and so now I'm just spreading the word. So if you're a voter in Chesapeake, this is the one. This is this the woman here right now, Santetta. Brown yearling, um, and um, she seemed affable, affable, whatever enough, and so, um, so I'll I'll find out about her politics afterwards, at this level, and then she's first time, so it's the first time she's trying, so I'd rather give the first time people a shot rather than the old old people that I don't know what they done did there, I don't know, I'm I'm not well, you know, I'm I'm most of the year I'm a, I'm in South Africa, so there there's the thing, but I vote here, hey, I'm always here for elections, I love voting. Voting's my thing. Oh, by the way, I don't call voting voting. It's polling to me. I don't expect the the the, the winners of whatever to do my bidding. I expect them to be bought out. Not not in this level, local level. I'm talking about you know maybe they've saturated down to this local level. Who knows? I'm talking about the big boys. So I I, I just do it as a poll. Like um, this is how I feel. A lot of times I write stuff in. Like I write Mr. Neilford Jr. in um his website. I write producejustice.com. I think I think this one I'll use that. See, whatever else is going on, I might write in, like, reparations, and then at the S, put a dollar sign, reparations. That's I know that's what we're doing. Yeah, the, when the, well, we, do we already have our Congress? Yeah, we already had that. We had, no, 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 this is the Congress. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to write reparations in for people that I'm, I'm going to look up all the things and see what's happening. I'll repeat this tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. Be well. This has been, uh, well, me, T, from the Patterson, second to train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect.